join you from inside historic Nat Holman Gymnasium on the campus of City College on Manhattan's Upper West Side. Tonight on Facebook Live is the CUNY Women's Basketball Championship game and a rematch from a year ago as defending champion and regular season champion Brooklyn College takes on the John Jay Bloodhounds. Two teams both had to work to get here as we look at the bracket, Hunter College really pushed John Jay into the final possession and then Brooklyn also had to work hard in the fourth quarter to upend fourth seeded York by 10 in their semifinal. And with that, good evening and welcome to our coverage alongside former Dowling College coach Scott Green. I'm Ralph Bidnarchik. So happy to have you with us. A year to the date almost for these two teams meeting here again. Brooklyn swept both meetings, but a much different team having graduated an iconic player in Chanel Janot. But John Jay comes into this game with some optimism that they can finally get over the hump. And there's a lot of experience in this ball game. Eight of the ten starters are all played from last year's championship. Now this is a game 26 straight. Brooklyn has beat John Jay, including two tough ones this year where they were able to pull it out. Brooklyn must get to the glass today. They've been out-rebounded twice by John Jay, and that could prove costly this evening. Well, Brooklyn just had their latest great player step up. Gianna Gotti ended up being this year's CUNY Player of the Year. Over 20 points a game and a terror defensively. Uh, she has been a, a, an incredible career. You know, I call her the Swiss Army threat point guard. She's the CUNY Player of the Year. Her numbers this year make for a good case for All-American honors. Quick with the ball on the open floor. She gets everybody involved. Coach Alex Lang calls her a wizard with the basketball. 22 points, six boards, five and a half assists. And for John Jay, there may maybe never an athlete as iconic as Katie Haley. Katie Healy, a two-sport star and the second all-time scorer in Bloodhounds history. Well, uh, Coach Linda Day says Healy will wear you down with her consistency. A tireless worker with a think teammate first attitude. She's extended her range this season, which makes her so much more difficult to defend. 15 points, 12 rebounds per contest. Brooklyn College seeking their fifth title and fourth of the last five that have been played in the Cuties. John Jay looking their first title since 1992. Brooklyn and John Jay in the rematch next on Facebook Live. 2022-23 CUNY Athletic Conference Championships are presented by Health First. Health Insurance for New Yorkers, the official wellness sponsor of CUNY Athletics. The Hospital for Special Surgery, number one in the U.S. for orthopedics, is proud to be the official hospital of the CUNY Athletic Conference. CUNY University Student Senate, providing our students the platform to shape the City University of New York. And Hometown Ticketing, the official ticketing provider of the CUNY Athletic Conference. And welcome back here to Nat Holman Gym at CCNY. John Jay in the visiting Navy on Navy, Brooklyn, white on white. Ralph Bidnarchik with Scott Green will give you the starters momentarily. Great anticipation ahead of this one as Brooklyn seeks its fifth title in a rematch against John Jay last year. Right here in that home and gym was 59-51. Starters, Gotti at the point with Pham, Erica James, a dynamite shooter, Dasha Goodman, and Sarah James, the James sisters. Edwards is a sophomore point guard. Green, Hammond, Healy, and Ziola. Healy, we'll see how well she can control the glass. John Jay, a little bit of a bigger team. All-star officiating crew with Laura Isabel, Andre Smith, Megan Dahlman doing the honors. First of our CUNY championship doubleheader with Lehman and Baruch to follow at about 8.30 in a rematch of the men's championship from last year as the pass inside for Dasha Goodman is off of her hands and turned over. And here comes John Jay. Off the skip pass, and that jumper is off. Tiffany Bogle in the starting lineup for John Jay last moment, so a change there. Linda Day putting her in. One-time player at Kingsborough Community College that has been very good this year in her first year with the Bloodhounds. John Jay opens up in his own look. Gotti pitches to the corner for Dasha Goodman.
Erica James spotting up for three. Sarah James on the follow, and the stick back missed it. And those are those offensive rebounds we talked about in the open that you have to get. They've been out-rebounded twice by John Jay this season. Despite both victories going to Brooklyn, offensive rebound inside Ziola, she missed it. And the ball going out of bounds. And Scott, one of the main factors with the community championship playing on this bigger court at Nat Holman Gym, the shooting percentages have been struggles for both teams going back over the last decade. Last year, 59-51, Brooklyn with the win. And they won it despite being outshot by John Jay. John Jay shot 37% last year. Brooklyn just 30%. Well, you know, that's very uh, indicative of a game where the depth perception is so different. You know, a little more cavernous, a little more backdrop, and a little more, you know, just running into a lot of problems. Katie Huey got the nice pass off the baseline drive from Ashley Ziola and John Jay the first bucket. And that's what John Jay wants to do. They want to take their time, reverse the basketball, and try to get that inside position. Gotti on the kick out. Erica James in and out on her first two threes. She shoots it at 32% from three, fourth in CUNY. And one of the dynamite shooters in the conference that can get hot. Averages over 14 a game as we see Coach Alex Lang, once again, CUNY Coach of the Year for the eighth time in the last 14 years. This is his 21st season leading Brooklyn. Trap up top, Bobby Green. We'll skip it over, Catherine Hammond underneath. And shot blocked out of bat, or rather on the end line by Sarah James. And Goodman comes up with it. So Brooklyn has started 0 of 4. Nancy Pham. Pham with the lane opened up. Gotti stepping out and nails the three, getting Brooklyn started. Well, if you're Brooklyn, that's the way you want to get started and get some type of rhythm. And here we go again. And Gotti this time to the basket for another quick bucket. Off the inbound pass, Gotti led the country in steals last year at nearly five per. This year leads the country with nearly six steals a game. And she's got five quick ones. And now another John Jay turnover. Consecutive giveaways by the Bloodhound. Well, you can't let Gianna Gotti get in any kind of rhythm. And there you saw it right there for three. She has that ability to take over a game. And you allow her to get a couple threes in a row. Lights out. And in the first meeting between these two, it was Brooklyn 74-57. January 31st, Gotti went for a career-high 38. Here, John Jay off the steal and the foul. Hammond feeding Bobby Green. You can see early on the tempo that Brooklyn wants to bring. They want to try to create, and here's a good job on the break. Good job getting back on defense, but John Jay wants to run also. Bobby Green is a fifth-year senior from Queens Cardozo High School. Second year at John Jay. She was second team CUNY this year after being first team last year and a second team junior college All-American at Nassau. She misses both free throws. The Bloodhounds 18 and eight. Preseason number two team behind Brooklyn. And here we are in the final as Gotti finds Goodman in the corner for three. Dasha Goodman from beyond the arc. Well, Goodman can knock down that three, but you credit Gotti for getting inside and making that distribution. Bobby Green tries the three, that's off. Offensive rebound, Bobble, and she had to take it away. Gotti on the push. Goodman was asking for it. Then the kick. Gotti from the corner. And on the glass, John Jay. Cameron Hammond. Healy from mid-range. Well off. Boggle, another rebound. Healy, comfortable, and missed two jumpers during the possession. Brooklyn, as you touched on, was out-rebounded in both meetings in the regular season, despite winning both comfortably, particularly the first game, that Gianna Gotti went for 38 points. 
but you never know with shooting percentages here in this gym, Scott. Last year, Brooklyn, four of 25 from three as Goodman misses the three from the wing, and Bobby Green rebounds. Green to the rim, puts it up and in for her first bucket. Bobby Green, second of the team in scoring at nearly 12 a game. And that's what Green's going to need to do today. When she gets that little space, she has to take it to the basket. Bobby Green has been dealing with an ankle injury most of February. Finally got healthy just in the last week. Goodman left all alone and missing another three. Long rebound, so Brooklyn two of seven from beyond the arc, and that jumper short from Gotti. And we saw that in the semifinals. They took a lot of three-pointers in that game as well. Healy extended her range this year, missed a three, but there on the follow is Bobby Green. Timeout, Brooklyn. Major rebounding advantage right now for John Jay. And that was the concern coming into this game. Bobby Green able to get to the basket, but you give John Jay these second opportunities, and they're going to hurt you. That's their second opportunity basket they've got so far. The Bulldogs to dunk it over. They've nailed a couple of threes, and they have an 8-6 advantage. First media timeout, and again introducing Alex Lang in his 21st season. And what a job that he has done taking over this program. He didn't have a winning season until his seventh year. And when he took over the program ahead of 02-03, they were coming off of a winless 0-26 season. And now they are seeking their fifth title and four of the last five championships. Their eighth straight championship game appearance. And then last year, Scott taking Brooklyn to... Uh, continuing their ascension and winning the program's first ever NCAA tournament game as they defeated Emmanuel College before losing to a nationally ranked William Smith team in the second round. And winning that NCAA game was just so big for the CUNY Conference. It puts them on the map and it gives them a tremendous amount of respect. Shot clock to eight. Here's Brianna Gutierrez off the Brooklyn bench, only able to get to the basket. And what Brooklyn did, and it had to be part of the timeout, was they were able to spread the offense, went back to their five-out read-and-react style offense. Ayana Edwards. A lot of two-three zone this year for Brooklyn with a foul on the floor. And they also mix it up with zone traps and and certainly when you have Gianna Gotti, uh, Scott, that must be a dream for a coach when you have someone that can be such a great ball hawk. Yeah, without a doubt. And, and you go back to your point with the 2-3 zone. It's a very active 2-3 zone. And when you have someone like Gianna Gotti on the weak side, she's a terrific anticipator. And this is how they get their steals. Aliyah Rafat, volleyball star off the Brooklyn bench, comes up with a deflection, the takeaway by the Bulldogs. Third, John Jay turnover. Eric, rather, Rafat tries the three. Rebound, and Gotti is able to pull it out. Fresh 20 here for the Bulldogs. Erica James trying to work her way through. Excellent defense played by both Fogel and Ashley Ziola, a six foot sophomore out of Yorktown Heights in Westchester. Fogel off one dribble. Tiffany Boggle spent two years as a, a member of the Army out of high school. Clara Boughton, class of 2017, happened to be on campus, and her brother put it into her mind, hey, you still miss basketball. And she came out for the team and deepened the John Jay rotation. James, short there for Erica on the long two. Bobby Green rebounds. So both teams right around 30% in this first quarter. Winner off to the NCAA tournament. John Jay has never been there. Their lone championship in 1992. CUNY did not have a bid yet to the NCAAs until 1996. It looks like they got the foul on Gotti there for blocking. Gotti picking up just her first and the third on Brooklyn here. 
both teams to make subs. Andre Smith giving the explanation. Working alongside Laura Isabel there. Laura with her back to us. Worked last year's NCAA Division III Women's Basketball National Championship game. So we've got an all-star cast. Cameron Hammond, Bogle given the mid-range jumper. And Brooklyn on the rebound with Brianna Gutierrez. Brooklyn has opened up four of 14, including two of 10 from three. And also here's Dior Dorsey for Brooklyn, a freshman. Gutierrez missed the floater in the lane. And John Jay with a rebound, and here is Cheyenne Kelly. 5-4 sophomore backup point guard from Harlem. Also on the floor at the same time with a 5-1 starting point guard sophomore Ayana Edwards from Huntington. Healy against the Brooklyn zone. And out of the short corner of the baseline jumper missing again Bogle. And you got to credit John Jay right now with their defense. They're pinching the middle and they're forcing Brooklyn into taking shots that they may not be comfortable with taking and you know and, and this is just a great job so far this first quarter they have to be very pleased Dior Dorsey just missed the pull up and right now the rebounding is John Jay so far just plus one but a lot of jumpers so far from the Bulldogs four of 16 John Jay, 4 of 14. Hammond, the skip pass. Cheyenne Kelly, short. Ziola had the rebound, knocked out of her hands. John Jay in their fourth finals appearance in program history. Last year was their first appearance since 1997. What a job done by Linda Day. We'll introduce at some point. Pass in for Healy off of her hands. Good look by Cheyenne Kelly. And that's a great look by Kelly. And if you're, it, it, you know, you have to think about this. If you're, if you're Katie Healy, you have to do a better job sealing off and expecting that pass. John Jay also stays in his own look. Goodman in and out. And John Jay doing well in limiting Brooklyn to one and done. Final minute, Kelly forced it up, and she'll be called for traveling. So the fifth turnover of the opening quarter by John Jay. Last year, John Jay... En route to losing that game, 59-51, they only had seven players on the roster. So that was a key factor. As Brooklyn was able to wear them down. Conversely, they brought back five starters. But Linda Dane was able to go out and add to the team. As here's Aliyah Rafat, hop step, and she'll be called for traveling. You know, I, I, she got called for the traveling, but I like how they were able to move the ball and dump it down inside her i'd like to see brooklyn dive the lane when you catch the ball on the on the block that middle is left wide open out of the middle and out of the mid-range bobby green and she leads john jay with six and we're tied at 10 final seconds first quarter Gotti knifing through turned it over time for john jay run out cheyenne kelly stops and she'll be called for traveling well, you can see both teams wanting to run now. It's just a matter of trying to get some control out of it. Five seconds left in the corner. Gotti with one. Gotti had to heave it up, and it's well off. Good defense by Bobby Green outside. Two teams just getting settled in. Defending champion Brooklyn tied with John Jay. At 10 at the end of one. And we're back at CCNY in a moment on Facebook Live. How easy is health insurance with Health First? Absolutely easy with our app. 
Can you search for a doctor? Absolutely. Can you access your member ID? Absolutely. Download our app today. Hometown Ticketing makes it fast and easy to buy tickets on your school's website or in the new Hometown Fan app. It's simple. Just search for your school, buy your tickets, and they'll be right there in your account, ready to be scanned when you get to your event. Download the Hometown Fan app today. Tied at 10, Brooklyn and John Jay tonight in a rematch of last year's community championship. Ralph Benorchuk alongside Scott Green. Neither team shooting a great percentage, Scott. Brooklyn, 22%, 2 of 11 from a 3. And John Jay plus 4 on the glass as the, the Bloodhounds look for the lead here. Start of the second. Hammond into Ziola. Missing with a left hand. Uh, Rafat, then Rafat will be fouled in the rebounding action. Well, we said in the beginning, too, you know, coming to a place like CCNY with the cavernous facility, that the shooting percentages were going to be down, especially early on. Remember, they're a little nervous. They're not playing under normal conditions. They're playing for an NCAA tournament bid. There's a lot at stake here. Erica James started off 0 of 3. Brooklyn also back to Nancy Pham here, one of their starting guards. Mary Dolgen, and Dolgen is called for traveling. 5'9", five nine, five nine sophomore from Brooklyn, who's made big shots this season. And the fifth turnover by the Bulldogs, seven in the opening quarter by John Jay. Green, able to draw and kick, Cheyenne Kelly, and Brooklyn on the glass. Erica James outside, Pham. Capable three-point shooters all around for Brooklyn and what Alex Lyon describes a, a five-out read and react offense. Stepping out, Dolgen, line drives the three. Healy from the corner, and that won't go. Both teams settling for jumpers. Gotti trying to change the tempo and is able to sidestep around the defender. James, nice pass the return, but Rafat missed the layup, expecting contact. And you had five white jerseys touch the basketball on exactly what you wanted. Healy then missed the layup, had the rebound, Erica James. Gotti, wild shot in traffic, and Bobby Green down with it. Green with the scoop layup, offensive foul, and both teams a bit out of sorts. That'll be number one on Bobby. Well, you're seeing both teams really try to pick up that tempo, and you know we, they're, not, they're failing to establish that control, filling the lanes, and you can see how quick she does. She comes down. I don't know. You take it. <laughs> Aliyah Rafat able to draw the charge. 5'11 sophomore from San Martin, California. San Francisco area. He joined the Brooklyn team right after the volleyball season. Brooklyn champions two years ago. Last fall lost in the CUNY final where Rafat is a significant outside hitter. And then they get her in early November to add to the team in basketball. Gotti on a three. Eight points already for Gianna. And one of the things that impressed me so much of Gianna Gotti's shot is her quick release. She gives up a lot of size. And here's that defense we talked about with a two-on-one. 
Gotti, the steal by Brianna Gutierrez. Gutierrez got it back and then was fouled. And continuing my point, she's able to catch the ball and in stride with her hands and feet set. How about that? Quick release, nothing but the bottom of the net. Brianna Gutierrez, Midwood High School in Brooklyn, very scrappy defensively and came up with another steal. And she plays key minutes off the bench at nearly five points per game. And on the subject of Gianna, started her career at Division II Bridgeport, playing in the East Coast Conference. Rebound pulled down on the miss by Brianna Gutierrez. And the rebound to Sarah James. Erica, the Jameses are a part of triplets. They have a brother that went to go play football at SUNY Maritime. Erica James, shot clock to four. Gotti looking for the bailout, and Gotti is going to be fouled by the arm bar. And that's only team foul number four, but it does give Brooklyn a fresh 20. You know, here's the Gianna recognizing what was on the shot clock and just throwing it up, and those are the times defensively you have to maintain that discipline and lay back and not draw a foul. Unfortunately, it wasn't a shooting foul. Backup guard Jordan Ruiz out of Yonkers. Commits the personal. John Jay back to the trap and zone look. Gutierrez and she'll be called for traveling. And this is one of the adjustments that Brooklyn needs to look at. You know, John Jay now extending their zone out a little bit more. You have to make those adjustments. That's what they say, read and react. You have to react to that defense. Ruiz on the entry. Foggle got stuck inside. Sarah James with a block. Dolgen not looking and unable to save it. Erica James. Well, a trap on the five man of Brooklyn and well timed by John Jay. Brooklyn turns it over for the seventh time. John Jane with nine. Healy, try, Healy trying to find a rhythm, could not get that to fall, and Erica James couldn't save it. And both teams shooting under 30%. Lao Jin here in Nat Holman. A terrific crowd here today. Ruiz, Hanman, a known three-point shooter, chased off the arc, then puts up a wild runner that only caught glass. As Gotti leads the break. Sarah James capable from three, way off there. Rebound, Brianna Gutierrez into Sarah James, missed it. Sarah James got it back. Kick out, Dolgen. And I, and I think one word describes Brooklyn right now, and that's settling. They're settling for shots that maybe they don't need to take right away. Maybe one more pass. Gianna Gotti's very good at making that extra pass. I, I just think that they're rushing their threes when they could get a better shot. And on that topic, Scott, Brooklyn, three of 15 now from beyond the arc. John Jay has only attempted four threes. They've struggled inside the arc, 23%. Cameron Hammond from Poughkeepsie. Transfer from Division II New Haven after graduating there. And being an honorable mention All-American in junior college at Duchess. Hammond. Bobby Green. Then off the pass, and it falls for Katie Healy. And that's what Katie Healy needs to do in this game, is to get herself in the paint, be able to square the shoulders, and put up those easy chippies. Dior Dorsey. Sarah James on the kick out. Gotti, quick catch and shoot again. Yeah, you have to locate where Gianna Gotti is on the court at all times. You almost have to cheat 
to her side and stay with her. She has 11 of the 16 by Brooklyn. Bogle and Dorsey nearly came up with a steal. Now Hammond settles for the three. Healy on the offensive glass for John Jay. Bogle from mid-range. And Gotti up with it. Up ahead and overthrew Dorsey. You know, and these are sometimes cases where if Gianna Gotti has the ball in transition, let her take it to the free throw line. If she doesn't have the dish off, then she has the lane to the basket. Time out taken by John Jay there with the Nantucket Red Pants. The seventh year coach, Linda Day, as we see Gotti knock down her third three of the half. Yeah, I mean, she just has a chance to spot up. She uses that quick release and she lets it go. She doesn't need a lot of space. So Brooklyn to talk it over. And they're still down at 21%. And for Linda Day, Scott, you and her have some history. Her co collegiate coaching career started off on the staff of her alma mater, Queens College, in 2003, being an assistant of Dennis Conroy. And she played at Queens College four years after growing up in the Astoria section of Queens. Coached at the Mary Lewis Academy, four years under the great late Joe Lewinger. Three years eventually at Queens College, five years at Old Westbury. Turnover, Goodman able to intercept the skip pass. And Goodman took the extra step in traffic. And we've seen several traveling violations so far from Brooklyn, and that's what we talked about. Getting control of the game, letting the game come to you and making those extra passes. Healy was left by herself. What a find from Ayana Edwards. And that's what their first option should be every time down. Getting Healy on the block, letting her seal off and post and get her those, get her the basketball. Dorsey from mid-range, Dior Dorsey. Out of Staten Island's New Dorp High School, really athletic. Alex Lang can't wait for her future as Hammond turns it over. Gotti, then we'll take the transition three. Wow, you know, she gets the ball in, in her spot to shoot and then she shows how she can shoot it off the dribble. And that's something you don't see much in the women's game. When someone can dribble the ball full speed, stop on a dime, and let it fly, that's a ball player. Not a great percentage this year for Gianna, 27% from beyond the arc. But gets a ton of layups, 47% from the field, and the second leading scorer in CUNY this year, and nearly 22 a game. Brooklyn with its largest lead of seven. Healy back on the floor. Cheyenne Kelly for John Jay. Gave it up to Bobby Green. Big shot for Bobby. And that was a big three-point shot there with a, a point where you could feel the momentum really start to shift Brooklyn's way. You come back and you knock down the three. First made three for the Bloodhounds. Gotti off one dribble. And Gianna Gotti appears to be determined. She had that career high 38 point game in January as she nearly came up with a charge there and Ayana Edwards up with it. Here's Healy looking to answer and does with the three. Well, that's why they call this the championship game and the two best teams are playing in it. You know, both teams are now starting to feel every shot is a big shot. Healy, just her fourth main three of the season. She came back focused to extend her range. There's Gotti with a heat check, and Dorsey came up with it. Fam, shot clock to two. Put it up, it ain't off the glass. Wow, what a tough shot that was. I don't even know what to say on that one. Another John Jay live ball turnover. Gotti around Kelly who forced the miss. And then the Brooklyn foul. The 
Bulldogs team foul number two on the Bulldogs with under two minutes left. First half, Gianna Gotti, 16 of the 25 points scored by Brooklyn, including four of seven from three. And Brooklyn has amped up the pressure here. Now Alex Lang will go to a 1-2-2 press. Keeley, Fogel. Ziola with the left hand missed a good look. John Jay remains in their zone look. Gutierrez, Goodman off the kick. Second made three for Dasha Goodman. And Brooklyn is doing a really nice job now of getting into the paint, playing inside out basketball and spotting up their shooters. Six threes in the opening half for Brooklyn and now John Jay sped up, turns it over. And how about that? Well, open, contested and still being able to knock it down. Could have been at 32% from the city, New York City Lab School. That came back from an injury-plagued first half of the season. Largest lead for Brooklyn at eight. Bam, a line drives the three. Kelly up ahead. Cameron Hammond with her first two. Nice execution of the fast break. Getting yourself down and make it a good bucket. Now, big possession here. Gutierrez, Goodman, same spot. And Hammond, a tall guard that can rebound at 5'9", up with it. Cameron Hammond off of a career-high 15 rebounds against Hunter in the CUNY semifinals. Didn't shoot the ball great, though. She is considered an X-factor by some in this game. As the blocking foul on Dasha Goodman. 6.2 seconds left. Gotti will sit here for a second, perhaps to avoid a foul. And Brooklyn will go bigger. They'll have both Lafat and Sarah James on the court at the same time. Kelly. And Kelly, with time on the clock, forced up the three. James rebounds, and that's it. Brooklyn able to knock down five threes. Well, check that, six threes. Six of 19 from beyond the arc, and they lead John Jay by six, 28-22 at halftime. When we come back, we'll introduce the major award winners from the CUNY Athletic Conference, including the community college major winners and the four-year schools, and then I'll come back and meet the new athletic director at Brooklyn College, Eric Smiles, named to the position just yesterday, and then highlights and stats from the opening half. Defending champion Brooklyn with a six-point lead over John Jay at the break on Facebook Live. How easy is health insurance with Health First? Absolutely easy with our app. Can you search for a doctor? Absolutely. Can you access a member ID? Absolutely. Download our app today. Hometown Ticketing makes it fast and easy to buy tickets on your school's website or in the new Hometown Fan app. It's simple. Just search for your school, buy your tickets, and they'll be right there in your account, ready to be scanned when you get to your event. Download the Hometown Fan app today. Championships are presented by Health First. 
health insurance for New Yorkers, the official wellness sponsor of CUNY Athletics. The Hospital for Special Surgery, number one in the U.S. for orthopedics, is proud to be the official hospital of the CUNY Athletic Conference. CUNY University Student Senate, providing our students the platform to shape the City University of New York. And Hometown Ticketing, the official ticketing provider of the CUNY Athletic Conference. How easy is health insurance with Health First? Absolutely easy with our app. Can you search for a doctor? Absolutely. Can you access a member ID? Absolutely. Download our app today. Hometown Ticketing makes it fast and easy to buy tickets on your school's website or in the new Hometown Fan app. It's simple. Just search for your school, buy your tickets, and they'll be right there in your account, ready to be scanned when you get to your event. Download the Hometown Fan app today. And welcome back here at halftime to Nat Holman Gym, where Brooklyn College, the defending champions, the top seed, they have a six-point lead over John Jay in this CUNY Women's Basketball Championship game. Back here at the table, Ralph Kidnorchik on hand, and it's my pleasure of, to be among the very few people, first few people, to introduce Eric Smiles as the new athletic director at Brooklyn College, just getting the official announcement yesterday. Eric, first of all, congratulations. Uh, tell me how it hit you. You come over from Hostos Community College, so you were already in the CUNY system uh, for three and a half years, but you take over a, a proud four-year school. Uh, congratulations, partner. Thank you. Yeah, it, it's been a great transition. You know, first of all, the people at Brooklyn have been great. President Anderson and, and Dr. Jackson, who uh, is my, my vice president, the entire athletic staff, they've been warm, welcoming, helping from, from the very first minute I stepped on campus. And, and what a great place, the campus, the academic tradition, the alumni base, the facilities, uh, you know, the history, history athletically and, and the tradition of winning. And it's, it's, it's been it's really a great place. I'm excited. And you take over as Alex Lang, the Brooklyn women's coach, was the brief interim AD for a while, so he had a lot on his plate yeah. in addition to pursuing a championship. Uh, you were you were a coach previously. You were, you were not necessarily an administrator. You were a longtime coach at Division II LIU Post uh, who competed very often for NCAA, NCAA bids. Uh, uh, what's it like on the on the AD side, and, wh and what do you kind of foresee now with your coaching back to try to help grow uh, a four-year department? Well, you know, absolutely. First of all, uh, there's a lot less stress in a lot of ways when you're an administrator, not a coach anymore. You know, I, the gray hair stopped coming in on the side of my head the last couple of years. But, uh, you know, I, I think being a coach gives you, gives you a great overview of the entire department. You know, when you're a coach, you're, you're recruiting, you're dealing with retention, you're dealing with academics, compliance, fundraising, budget. So it really gives you a great a overview of everything we do in the department. And, and I think, you know, looking back at my time as a coach now, as an administrator the last couple of years, it gives you great empathy in what those head coaches are going through. And you, you know what they're dealing with. It's, it's so I think that's mm -hmm. a big advantage for me. And from a basketball perspective, you have two long-standing coaches. Alex Lang's in his 21st season. Yeah. Uh, Jeffrey Jean Baptiste is an alum of the program. Uh, Brooklyn was just in a CUNY final, uh, uh, just pre-pandemic uh, there in 2020. So that that appears to be said. Uh, uh, what what are your dreams, your your visions for Brooklyn College uh, here in, a, in a, as as New York, particularly the five boroughs, get further away from? Uh, the pandemic that, that stopped so much. Yeah, well, you know, I, I think every year we're slowly getting back to more of a sense of normalcy, and I, I think that's true in athletics. You know, one of our real biggest goals, my biggest goal, is really give the coach the tools to compete and, you know, get back from the pandemic and, and really, you know, get us to that top half of the CUNYAC in every single sport. And, you know, and that's my, what my job really will be these next couple of years to kind of help that turn and, and get those coaches what they, they got to have. And, and you're right about Alex and Jeff. You have two guys that are just absolute studs. I mean, Alex, I mean, you just watch his team, the way they play, his, his, the coaching job he does. Mm -hmm. They're unbelievable. And, and Jeff is Mr. Brooklyn. Mm -hmm. 
I mean, he yeah. played there, assistant coach there, head coach there, won a championship there, uh, and he's a, a great cheerleader for the institution. So, you know, we got some great coaches in place. I met all of them. Uh, by today was actually, I, I finally met everyone by the end of the day today before I came over here. We got a great crew of coaches. We got a great administration in place. It's just, you know, doing some fundraising and get some things back in order to help these guys win a little bit more. And you've got arguably one of the top facilities, uh, yes. re regardless of, uh, of sport, uh, over in the quad at Brooklyn College. And I'd imagine that's a, a something else you can take great advantage of in the bigger picture and rentals and that kind of thing. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, you look at what Bruce Favolsa did before me for 40 years, and Bruce is a legend and, you know, a future Hall of Famer. I mean, the way he advocated for athletics and, and advocated for the West Quad Center and that turf field in the back, which gives us just something that a lot of other schools in our region don't have in terms of facilities is awesome. And, and that's a big part of the plans moving forward in terms of raising money and, you know, getting more coaches full time and getting them more money to go out and recruit and use those facilities for rentals and raising some funds and getting engaged with the alumni. But yeah, no, the West Quad is, it's, uh, it's a nice view from the office. I'll say that it's a beautiful place to be every day. Eric, congratulations. I hope you have your email set up. Uh, yes, I did. Finally, <laughs> Finally, yes, absolutely. Uh, one day ago, new athletic director of Brooklyn College, former LIU post head men's basketball coach for a long time, coming over from Hostos after three and a half years. Eric Smiles, congratulations. Thank you so much. Appreciate Eric it. Smiles here at the table. We'll come back. Halftime highlights coming up and the recap for the awards luncheon in CUNY all on the way on Facebook Live. Is health insurance with Health First? Absolutely easy with our app. Can you search for a doctor? Absolutely. Can you access a member ID? Absolutely. Download our app today. Hometown Ticketing makes it fast and easy to buy tickets on your school's website or in the new Hometown Fan app. It's simple. Just search for your school buy your tickets, and they'll be right there in your account, ready to be scanned when you get to your event. Download the Hometown Fan app today. Easy is health insurance with Health First? Absolutely easy with our app. Can you search for a doctor? Absolutely. Can you access a member ID? Absolutely. Download our app today. Hometown Ticketing makes it fast and easy to buy tickets on your school's website or in the new Hometown Fan app. It's simple. Just search for your school, buy your tickets, and they'll be right there in your account, ready to be scanned when you get to your event. Download the Hometown Fan app today. Twenty-eight to twenty-two, Brooklyn with the lead over John Jay here at halftime. Ralphie Norchik alongside Scott Green. As we have a look at some first-half numbers and highlights, well, Gianna Gotti, sixteen of the twenty-eight for Brooklyn. Well, just fierce determination in this game. She has the ability to kind of take things over, whether she's shooting or passing. Brooklyn was able to start getting hot, knocking down some threes, but John Jay would not go away. And you look at Green, Bobby Green coming down, making a couple quick baskets, 
and then inside again, finishing the play. And here Katie Healy starts to get involved in the offense, starts making a couple passes, this time over to Tiffany Boggle. She's able to finish the play, and then the quick release of Gianna Gotti once again. 16 points in the first half, and here she is, recognizing how much is on the clock, getting the foul called, and then a quick drive once again. John Jay not going away. Katie Healy getting about nine first half points, and then another big three to keep them alive. 16 points, six rebounds for Gianna Gotti. And Gotti in transition with the stop and the pull up and knocking down another three point shot. Four of seven from the three. And then back came Green. Bobby Green knocked it down a big three of her own. And then Gianna Gotti with a two quick release, giving Brooklyn that extended lead. John Jay trying to make one more push. And it's Healy knocking down the bucket. Dasha Goodman with that three, she would also knock down the other two. Six of 21 shooting from three point range in the first half for Brooklyn College. Six of 21 for 29%. John Jay, two of eight from three. John Jay also turning it over 13 times in that first half as we look at some of the first half numbers. Well, uh, yeah, turning them over 13 times is excellent. That's what they wanted to do. But the number that I'm watching most carefully is the rebounding. They're able to out-rebound John Jay, which they haven't been able to do in the first two meetings. 28-22 Brooklyn. With the third quarter coming up, thoughts here, Scott, it, certainly if you're Alex Lang of Brooklyn, he was able to, how was he able to kind of settle the game in that second quarter? Brooklyn outscored John Jay 18-12 after 10 all first quarter. Well, they were able to take better shots. Their shot selection, they were settling early on for those long three-point contested threes. Gianna Gotti was able to get hot. Once she gets hot, everyone else follows. Once a catalyst gets started, it's all uphill for them. And then here for John Jay and Linda Day, what do you think the message was at the half? Well, I think they just got to do a better job pressuring the basketball. They extended their defense a little bit. I wouldn't be surprised if you see her go a little bit man in the second half because the shooters started knocking them down. John Jay, 10 of 31, 32% from the field. The stars for John Jay, Bobby Green, Katie Healy, nine points apiece. So they have certainly been able to produce, but for the Bloodhounds, some live ball turnovers led to some additional Brooklyn possessions. Brooklyn with eight points off, off a fast break among the little things that appears to be creating separation. Winner off to the NCAA tournament. Brooklyn won a first round game of the NCAAs last year. They're seeking their fifth championship as a program and fourth in the last five years. John Jay has never played in the NCAA tournament. They have won just one CUNY championship, and that came in 1992. Only Erica James of Brooklyn has two fouls. So both coaches in great position from that perspective. First possession, John Jay remains in what looks like to be a 3-2 zone, Scott. Erica James trying to get going and does her first field goal as a three. And when you play 3-2 zone, the spots that are left open are the corners, and they exploited that within the first 10 seconds. 45th three of the season for Erica James. She's fourth in the conference in percentage. Two-time first team all CUNY. Against the Brooklyn zone, there's Bobby Green running out of three. Ashley Ziola missed the chippy on the offensive glass. 
It'll stay with John Jay. And you saw Ashley Ziola stepping in and taking that rebound away from three Brooklyn jerseys. That's what they were able to do in the first two meetings. Foggle. And not a great entry pass from Hammond and an unforced turnover by John Jay. Yeah, we always say entry passes to the block have to be made foul line extended. That gives you the best angle in there. John Jay has been a bit turnover prone, averaging over 21 per game. Brooklyn 16 and a half. Nancy Pham for three consecutive threes out of the locker room for Brooklyn. And I, I think that John Jay is gonna have to come out of that three two now. Healy missed the layup and could not save it. So it's a 12 point lead for Brooklyn, largest of the night. Yeah, that 3 2 zone, what, what starts to happen is you have your wings playing on the foul line extended. Those corners become left open. So, really, what happens is it becomes a wide open three. And here we go again. You can see her sitting there on the again. It's time to close out on Erica James. Fam from the wing. Consecutive threes for Nancy Pham. Timeout, John Jay. Brooklyn has opened it up here in the first 90 or so seconds of the third quarter. They've scored the first nine points. And this is where a defense adjustment's gonna have to be made. And she has come alive, Nancy Pham, knocking them down. Now this is going to be a, a, a tough uphill battle now for John Jay. They're going to have to make the adjustment. You have a lot of momentum going with the Bulldogs. Nancy Pham out of Manhattan Center High School, very good high school program, class of 2018. So she's a fifth-year player that became the third option this year. A nice season at just over seven points per game. With all the attention Alex Lang has realized teams put on Gianna Gotti, it's led to great seasons from Pham and James shooting the ball. And Brooklyn, they're, they're going for the jugular here. They want to go 1 2 2 and try to put this game away. You don't want to allow a team like John Jay to stick around. Bobby Green forced it up, partially blocked by Sarah James, and the foul against Brooklyn. Well, by going with the 1-2-2, now you're going to keep the tempo up and you're not going to allow a half-court set. Sarah James picks up number one. Katie Healy is a fifth-year senior from Merrick, New York. She wanted to come back for her fifth year to win a championship and become the program's all-time leading scorer. And she has 1,569 points coming in. She needed 84 points for the all-time mark of John Jay. A four-year starter in two sports. Also, the all-time leading scorer in women's soccer where she won three championships. And she has the first points of the second half for John Jay. A deflected pass and the recovery by Pham. Brooklyn has opened up three of three. Three threes, two coming from Pham. Now Pham on the floater, and wave that off. And the foul on the floor against John Jay. Rebounding number, Scott, even at 26. That's where the Bloodhounds, led by Katie Healy, and good rebounding guards like Bobby Green, a six-footer like Ziola, have been able to take advantage of teams in D3. As there is a turnover, Goodman took it into traffic. John Jay, fifth in the country in rebounding margin at plus 14. Hammond, though, missed the transition layup. And they had a two-on-one situation. Those are must-make finishes. Erica James stripped on the way by Hammond. Boggle. Football pass ahead to Healy. Healy into Goodman will score. And this is where they got to get Healy involved like that. And then Gotti tripped up, turnover. 
underneath, missing the shot, Green. And Goodman trying to restore order with the rebound, and she's tied up. John Jay gets it back. Now, I know you said earlier, you know, this is an outstanding officiating crew. They are allowing them to play today, and that's the kind of move that she'll make it to the basket. And Brooklyn here is going to take a timeout. They scored the first nine points. And John Jay eventually answered with a field goal and a couple of free throws. They've started off one of seven. But you see Katie Healy here, the unquestioned leader of the Bloodhounds. Linda Day, though, admitted she can't take any credit for recruiting Healy. Former soccer coach Casey Summers, who's now down at Catholic University, came up to Linda now five years ago saying, oh yeah, Katie also wants to play basketball after soccer out of Calhoun High School in Nassau County. And a special player that has led John Jay to some very competitive seasons, reaching the final last year at 16 and nine, nine and three, and now bettering that with arguably one of the best seasons in John Jay history, 18 and eight. Bloodhounds in that first half ended up shooting 32%. Brooklyn just 30%. And the Bulldogs now up to nine threes, nine of 24, still early third quarter. Hammond trying to get herself going. Cameron Hammond for three. John Jay showing a lot of resilience after that big Brooklyn run to start this half. And then Erica James turns it over, the pressure by Bobby Green. That's a good deflection there, Ralph. You know, I had that ball all to myself, but how about that three-point shot there, knocking it down for Katie Healy. That was direction, that's Cameron Adams. Green, and she'll be stuck tied up so it's going back to Brooklyn John Jay now picking up full court after sitting back in a zone and they're gonna turn over Brooklyn again Ayana Hammonds picking up the steal off the overthrow Healy knocks down the jumper that's a long range two 15 for Healy, 7-0 response by John Jay. Yeah, and it's a six-point game. That full-court pressure is really giving Brooklyn some problems. They're denying Gianna Gotti the ball and forcing someone else to handle it. James. That would have been a deep one. Boggle on the glass, uncontested. Hammond, then the knock away and the steal by Gotti to take it in for two. Gianna Gotti is such a good anticipator on that defensive ball, side of the ball. She has been the constant, and now another steal. That's Bam with the takeaway. Gotti got into the paint and missed on the floater. Sarah James on the glass. And she'll shoot free throws. That's great quick hands. Gotti keeping her head up the entire time with the easy layup. Gianna with 18 to lead all players. Sarah James, Rensher Jr. from Brooklyn's James Madison High School. Their leading rebounder, a couple double doubles, and has been the rock in the middle this year for Brooklyn, who has been a little undersized, particularly relative to what they graduated. As the Bulldogs graduated, six foot three center Sarah Labiner last year. What a presence in D3. 
and good shot blocker. And then the CUNY Player of the Year, three-time Player of the Year, Chanel Jamat, who was a terror at about 5'9", who had 18 points, 20 rebounds in this game last year. Big shoes to fill for Sarah Jane. Without a doubt, she was a terrific ball player. One of two. Hammond, and Hammond got caught in the air. And the foul will go on Sarah James, her second. Oh, check job. that, no, that's Erica James picking up her third. No, but this is what John Jay wants to try to do. They want to try to drive those gaps and let it get to the basket. Bobby Green with the shot clock at 10. Hammond. Ayana Edwards, shot clock to three. Hammond, left alone. Second three of the quarter for Cameron Hammond. Boy, if it's, if it's not Cameron Hammond, you know, it, it, it's just, it's Healy. It, these guys are starting to light up. You know, it only took a half for both these teams to get comfortable in this gym. And how about this? Looking at a ball reversal, spotting up, knocking it down. Hammond barely played last year at Division II New Haven. Ten games, did not score on the year. This year, she became a second-team CUNY All-Star in D3. Erica James on the runner. And one. The foul underneath. And Erica James will shoot two. Will shoot you, one. You know, you, you look at it, it was a six-point game at half, and, and then they go on that big run, and, and how about this? Look at this nice move here to the basket. Going strong. Maybe got in there just a little bit too late. Erica, a sensational free-throw shooter at 78%. Had a tough first half of the year as well, as did Brooklyn. Erica James... This time with a shoulder issue, an illness. Cheyenne Kelly and the Brooklyn foul, team foul number three. And that will be Sarah James picking up her second. Meanwhile, Bobby Green of John Jay, she has three. Healy with two, with 3.50 left third quarter. So we are nearing the point where it could become a concern. But here is Cheyenne Kelly. What a story she has had. She had not played basketball in three years. A transfer on paper from Sullivan Community College's JV team in 2020. A JUCO JV. And she happened to be taking online classes at John Jay all of last year and working, but was playing open gym on the John Jay campus sometimes. Some of the John Jay players saw her and told her, come to the office. She came to the office in the springtime, and she has provided a valuable role player as a backup point guard as John Jay comes up with a steal with their pressure. And you're getting the John Jay fans behind you here, too. Boy, the acoustics in this uh, gymnasium, Matt Holman, wow. Green came up with her fourth steal, got the inbound, and scores on the baseline out of bounds. And this all came after a Linda Day timeout. Bam. Pestered all the way up the floor. And then John Jay commits the foul. So they're over the limit. And it will be free throws the rest of the way. So we've had two significant runs here in the quarter. Brooklyn opened up with a 9-0 run. Quick 6-0 response by John Jay. Back and forth we go in a five-point game. Gianna Gotti, the one fouled on the dribble handoff. You know, when you looked over at Coach Alex Lang about six minutes ago, it had the face of, you know, confidence. And then now, six minutes later, it's more of concern. So th this has just been a terrific basketball game. Gotti 
has 20 points in the first three quarters, a 75% free throw shooter that led the conference in qualified shooters by percentage. And the percentages, Scott, you're right, have been up. John Jay, 46%. Third quarter, 5 of 11. Brooklyn, 5 of 7 shooting. Boggle from mid-range, and that thought continues. Well, when you extend the 2-3 zone, you're going to leave the free throw line open, and they were able to take full advantage. Brooklyn breaking pressure. Bam, to the rim. And another John Jay foul. Well, Brooklyn is trying to spread the floor now to give themselves one-on-one -on -one opportunities and get to the basket. Number two on Ashley Ziola. Bam at just 49% this year. Last year, a lot better, 77%. Known as a catch and shoot player. She had spent her freshman year at Division III Mount St. Vincent in 2019. Missing both free throws. Healy. Well, she's looked for her jumper today. Hammond with the rebound. And another tie-up. This will stay with the Bloodhound. Healy has such a nice stroke from three-point range. Her feet are always set. Her hands fully extended. Healy and her shot blocked by Gotti. And Gotti with the loose ball and another John Jay foul. Again, the hands of Gianna Gotti. And while we've seen her with the ball, but it's been impressive what she's done without it. Yeah, without a doubt. I, you know, and I'm, I'm looking over at the way John Jay's trying to pick up the pressure. They don't go very deep on their bench. So you got to figure fatigue's going to settle in a little bit. And when it does, these fouls are going to happen. Two more for Gotti. 22 points in this CUNY championship game. And they may need a lot more from her to close out John Jay. Cheyenne Kelly right back sticks to three. Well, it just seems that John Jay has an answer each possession. They're down to a four-point game. It was once 15. Gotti. Free throw line pull up. And Gotti producing from everywhere. Extends back to six with two minutes left in the third. Kelly, good find for Boggle. Healy on the glass is fouled. These are must finishes for John Jay when they catch the ball underneath the basket to put it up. Gotti just picked up her third. And Katie Healy talked about her basketball accomplishments, her soccer accomplishments, also incredible. John Jay's all-time leading score, 43 goals, 35 assists, and then jumps right over to basketball season without preseason and produces numbers. But she misses two free throws, and it stays a six-point Brooklyn lead. Gotti turning the corner. as we start to close in on a minute I might even think about taking Gotti out for a minute give her a rest because this fourth quarter is going to be a big fourth quarter and Boggle missing from mid range there 
Erica James, feet set, swishes the three. She has all nine of her points in the third. Well, she has been terrific. Kelly weaves through, has Healy, then, then Gotti anticipated the dribble, took it away, and is fouled again. Well, there are so many great pot places that Gotti can do. She can dish. How about this shot? Knocking it down, Erica James. Gianna wears that number five because she is the fifth of six children in the family. And she got started very young. When she was four, her grandfather bought her a plastic hoop for the basement, gave her 10 bucks every time she sank 10 shots in a row. as she makes the first year. And that added up to an iconic career at small school, Oyster Bay High School on Long Island, where she graduated as Long Island's fifth all-time score, over 2,400 career points, five-year varsity starter. Think about how much money that would equate to if she shot then like she does now. Mm. Mm. That would be very expensive. Here she has been money with 26 points after making both free throws. After John Jay had closed it to five and had the ball, and Brooklyn has rattled off another mini run. Kelly got stuck inside, shot was blocked. Ziola then was blocked by Dolgen. Gotti on the bench, late third quarter, Pham to run the point, and the freshman Dorsey also back on for Brooklyn. Dolgen. Wild shot. Defense, 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 defense. Kelly almost double dribble. Ziola baseline jumper. As Dolgen is able to rebound, then had it ripped away by Healy. Kelly, the contested shot, no. And the battle underneath, it's Nancy Pham up with it with one second, and Pham won't be able to get the shot off. Another late run by Brooklyn. The Bulldogs 10 minutes away from going back to back and their fourth championship in the last five years. 54-43 over John Jay in the rematch from a year ago. We're back for the fourth quarter on Facebook Live. How easy is health insurance with Health First? Absolutely easy with our app. Can you search for a doctor? Absolutely. Can you access a member ID? Absolutely. Download our app today. How easy is health insurance with Health First? Absolutely easy with our app. Can you search for a doctor? Absolutely. Can you access a member ID? Absolutely. Download our app today. Hometown Ticketing makes it fast and easy to buy tickets on your school's website or in the new Hometown Fan app. It's simple. Just search for your school, buy your tickets, and they'll be right there in your account, ready to be scanned when you get to your event. Download the Hometown Fan app today. Brooklyn by 11 as we start the fourth quarter from Nat Holman Gym. Ralph Benorchik with Scott Green. Men's championship game to follow at around 8.30 Eastern time here on Facebook Live. Same link or nor is there a separate link too you can find through the CUNY Athletics Facebook page. A trap outside. Brianna Gutierrez almost turned it over. John Jay's turned it over 19 times. Brooklyn with 16 of them. 
But Brooklyn's outside shooting has perhaps made the, the biggest difference, Scott. 10 of 26 from three. They've also gone eight out of 13 at the line. Much better shooting later on. It was, an early, it was a tough start early on. Dorsey from three. Uncontested rebound. Gutierrez right back up with it. And that's what Brooklyn has been missing all year was that offensive second opportunity rebound. Ziola. And Ashley Ziola is fouled after a hard take to the rim. I'm not sure what was uh, going on there. A little extracurricular. Ziola had her hands straight up in the air to say, hey, not me, not me. And Laura Isabel just making sure that she is warned. Nothing extra coming from this. Uh, last year, Linda Day telling, telling me she is the baby goat in reference to Katie Healy being the goat of the program. And they love her versatility as a six-foot player that can hit jumpers. At 14-7 and seven against Hunter in the CUNY semifinal. And they expect her to take a substantial all-conference step next year. Average only nine points, five rebounds a game. Pursuing criminal justice, of course, that is the staple of John Jay College. Dad, a retired firefighter. Ziola with her first point. And that allows John Jay to set up their pressure as Gotti is able to escape from Edwards. Dorsey missed the fall away. Strong rebound in traffic by Bobby Green. I really like Bobby Green. She is a tough rebounder. You know, when she gets up only at five foot five, you know, you know she's a tough kid playing at Cardoza High School. That's where she really learned to be that tough. Two great years at Nassau Community College. Green trapped in that coffin corner and he's able to get rid of it to Edwards. And that's two quick fouls on Brooklyn here. Early fourth quarter, three team fouls. Uh, perhaps something John Jay will be able to take advantage of. Erica James and Gianna Gotti, three apiece for Brooklyn. Bobby Green picked up her fourth foul moments ago. And another Brooklyn fouls. So that's four with 8.37 left. And someone's got to let them know that, hey, the, the clock is on their side. They want to run some of that. <laughs> Dior Dorsey picks up number two. So Brooklyn has helped John Jay and maybe opened the window up a little bit more for a comeback. Edwards tried to skip pass. It was deflected by Gutierrez and stolen by Pham. Now Pham, her jump pass stolen right back by Ziola. Healy up ahead. Hammond for the layup. Now against this pressure, this is where you want to get the ball into Gotti's hands and let her control the basketball. Timeout, Brooklyn. Just what it looks like the Bulldogs might pull away. They've led by 15 and, uh, and by double figures on multiple occasions. John Jay is able to make a comeback. Wow, that fast break has been been very effective, you know, for John Jay. Hammond with the field goal and the Bloodhounds continue to talk it over. They added depth and shooting, some size off of last year. That Linda Day thought, you know, if we had that last year, we could have won the championship when they lost 59-51. Against Hunter, as we showed you, they struggled in the CUNY semifinal. They were down nine at the end of the first quarter, and eventually their crowd that was so good that night, strong here again, got John Jay through that game to hold off Hunter. And 
they'll need that kind of similar effort for the final 808. These are the top two scoring teams in the conference. Gotti remains in the bench. Pham has got it across to Gutierrez. James left wide open. And John Jay escaped that miss. Ziola the rebound. Healy from the baseline. An air ball. And Goodman will be fouled over the back. That was a good box out by Goodman. And, you know, anytime you get that inside position and then you get the contact from behind, you're going to get that foul call. The foul third. third on Ziola. All five John Jay players at half court or above in this front. Brooklyn breaks it. Gutierrez to settle. Goodman turned down the three, takes the floater. Bobby Green stepping around James, and James does well, walling off. Goodman's doing a good job on the glass for Brooklyn. Erica James took the baseline, blocked, but the foul, that was Healy. And it is Healy that picks up the personal, her third. That's a good drive to the basket. You get that open lane and draw the contact. And Erica James will get to the free throw line. You know, I think in the next minute, you almost have to go back to Gotti and just get her in for her ball handling skills. Three fouls on her. I know Brooklyn, four. I know Brooklyn wants to play that pressure defense, but you don't want her picking up that last foul. Yeah, earlier they must have changed one of the fouls because Gianna has four. Erica James makes both free throws. A three-year start on the program. A lot of championship experience on this Brooklyn roster. Hammond, long rebound to Green, and that's Gutierrez the foul. So it'll be free throws the rest of the way for the Bloodhounds with 6.38 left. Great credit to John Jay assistant coach, Aaliyah Albright, who found Bobby Green in recruiting. And they were friends, and Bobby Green, what an impact she has made in her two years at John Jay. Terrific athlete. But she misses both free throws, and that's been a struggle for the Bloodhounds. Five of 13 for the game. And they're unable to cut into the 12-point Brooklyn lead here at CCNY. Fam to the floater. Got her own miss. James Goodman. Shot clock to six. Erica James turning the corner all the way to the rim. Well, Erica James had the basket right in her sight. There was nothing stopping her. She's got 13 and has given Brooklyn a big lift and now the cross-court pass stolen by Dasha Goodman. Erica James fell down and then turned it over on the pass to Gutierrez. 5.34 left. How about this move? Draws a little contact 
and then eyes on the rim. And here is the moment that Alex Lang goes back to Gianna Gotti. They're trying to close this one out. Brooklyn by 14. This was a 10-10 game at the end of one. But Brooklyn has found spurts tonight. Cheyenne Kelly knocks down the three. What a lift she has given John Shea. Eight points off the bench. She's had a terrific game. And now Kelly with the steal. Hammond got a great look. And Healy will be fouled and more free throws for John Jay. John Jay's defense on the front court is doing a great job. And how about this three right there, knocking it down. What a terrific game she's had, Diane Kelly. Eight points a game to find someone like that in open gym. But those are the, one of the great stories in Division Three basketball. Players sometimes can have circuitous routes and you just don't know who you will find in your student body or someone that perhaps takes some time off in life. Healy makes one of two. Goodman and her pass deflected by Healy and it'll go back to John Jay. Well, they're giving John Jay every opportunity here. Five minutes left is a lot of time. Bloodhound six of 16 from three. Kelly, consecutive threes for her in the fourth. A seven point game. Timeout, Brooklyn. Cheyenne Kelly set to graduate. Attended the Health Professions and Human Services High School in Harlem. Uh, she has been amazing today. You know, and what a big timeout here. The seven point game, 430 left. They are starting to feel it on the three. She's had a couple of big games this year. 20 point game against CCNY. Been a huge spark off the bench, Linda Day has described. And right now, with her experience, she is showing great courage as the Bloodhounds have been looking for someone to emerge. Kelly with 11, all coming in the second half as Healy organizes the Bloodhounds, who are trying to take that first step into the NCAA tournament. They've won just one regular season championship that came back in 1997. And the one tournament crown in 1992 when they defeated Hunter, but CUNY did not have a bid to the NCAA's finalists last year and in 97. So this has been the group that has had the most significant success as Goodman missed the three. Kelly on the push. Kelly, heat check. It continues. What a great story here, Cheyenne Kelly. 14 points for Cheyenne Kelly. Three years ago, playing at Sullivan Community College's JV team. As James misses the shot, they usually don't even stack those games. Down to Healy, and Kelly overthrew her. Well, I'll tell you, you know, you see a team, how about this? Look at her eyes open the entire time. Stopped and a little step back. You know, it's so funny. You, you see a team, maybe once in a while, they'll race a 14-point lead and cut it to four. They've done it twice today. John Jay right back in striking distance. Backdoor cut, Goodman. Sarah James, offensive foul. What a great.
great defense to stop there. Good team defense. Step it up. How about this? All three players converging and getting position. Gotti with a deflection. Gotti then dives on the floor and comes up with the steal. And then turned over right back to Kelly. And then Kelly misses Edwards underneath. And, you know, Gianna Gotti's playing so hard right now. But she's got to be a little careful not picking up that fifth foul because they can ill avoid, ill advise to lose her right now in a game that's four points. Timeout taken as both teams needing a chance to exhale and just a good job on the floor diving for it making the pass and then giving it right back those are the times you work too hard on that investment to get no return Gotti with 26 points seven rebounds six assists and her fifth steal leading the country in steals this year at nearly six after leading the nation last year in steals at about five a game. A reminder coming up next after this one, 8.30 expected time. Lehman against Baruch on the men's side in the CUNY championship in a rematch of a year ago as well that went to overtime. So a great Friday night at the campus of City College. Upper West Side of Manhattan. Boy, the crowd has really gotten into it now. James almost traveled. Pham, and she's able to escape from the sideline. And Nancy Pham to take it to the basket. Ten points for Nancy Pham. And Pham stepped up this second half. Gotti on the floor after that loose ball. Green leads for Ayana Edwards. First field goal for the sophomore out of Central Islip High School on Long Island. Edwards trying to keep Gotti in front. Forced the miss on the jumper. Sarah James out to Erica. Kelly. And Erica James. And look at that all-out effort trying to save it. You know, and an opportunity to eat up some clock on the rebound. And, you know, sometimes little decisions may go a long way. Green on the cut from the corner. And they'll say last touch by Brooklyn on a deflection. Megan Dahlman, Laura Isabel having a word. And they will keep it with John Jay. <laughs> Kelly. Slipped down, and the steal by Gotti, her sixth of this championship game. It's a big possession here for Brooklyn. They want to get a good shot. They want to try to take the shot clock down as much as possible, but they want to get a good look. John Jay has switched. Looks like they've sat back. Scott in their 2-3 zone. When do you come out of it? Well, you know, when you're looking at a two-possession game, you got to come out of it quickly. You're looking at a minute left to go, even though that's, that still feels like eternity. 
You know, you got to get out and guard now. Ayana Edwards, small guard trying to stay with Gotti. Ball on the ground and a tie up, and John Jay steals it back. Brooklyn led by 15 at one point early third. 37-22, scoring the first nine points of the quarter. And then led by 14 points on two separate occasions. Bobby Green off the screen. And Gotti rebounds inside of a minute to go. John Jay has three team fouls. Arrow to Brooklyn. Dasha Goodman. And time coming off the clock. You want to foul someone other than Gotti. Edwards, 12 seconds left in the shot clock. You don't want to foul James either. And then Edwards fouls with seven seconds left. And a missed opportunity by John Jay. Goodman also solid at 77%, but there was a lot of time that they allowed to come off the clock. And let 23 seconds come off and moving the ball around in a, in a two possession game. Goodman had it poked free. Hammond with the poke away. Kelly, rather, Cheyenne Kelly up with it. Two possession game. Kelly has been aggressive for John Jay. Kelly then forces it up, launches it. Caught by Erica James with 10 seconds left. And Brooklyn is just a couple of free throws from sealing another title. John Jay did not get a good shot off. And perhaps the panic of the moment settling in. Erica James, while Gotti had 16 of her 26 in the first half, Erica James, with all 13 of hers in the second half, has also been terrific. She's at the line to try to put it away. For Alex Lang, he put together their toughest nine-league schedule they've ever played. They're trying to prepare this team to get back to the NCAA tournament, a team without the CUNY player of the year, their most dominant player ever, their leading scorer, all-time Chanel Jamont. They went through a little injuries, Erica James, Nancy Pham. They lost a good player, Destiny Drummond, for the season to a torn ACL in October that likely would have been a starter. Erica James makes two. And the timeout taken with 8.2 left. But sometimes programs get to a point where they win for a while, they drop off, and then sometimes programs start to reload. And Brooklyn has proven now for the better part of a decade that they can do that. Well, you know what Alex Lang has done? He's been doing this for a long time. He's built a system at Brooklyn College. And when he brings players in, he just fits them right into the system. He loses a couple good players. He's able to build them back again. And that's exactly what he's done this year. This is their 13th straight winning season. Today marked their 10th finals appearance in the last 12 years. One of the ones that, that of course, got missed was 2021. They returned eight players from last year, four of their top six. But again, you graduate a multiple All-American, and yet here they are looking for a closeout. Bobby Green with four seconds, pass deflected, layup by Hammond misses, and that's it. Brooklyn goes back to back. The Bulldogs celebrate their fifth championship and fourth in the last five years. They're going back to the NCAA tournament. They close out John Jay for the second straight season in a nail-biter, 64-58.
What a great win for Brooklyn College. They found every possible way today to get it done. They knew they had to rebound today. They knew they had to defend. Gianna Gotti was absolutely sensational. But you got to put your tip your hat to John Jay and the season they've had and what showed so much resilience in this game today. Two tight games in consecutive years that Brooklyn has had with John Jay. They came out victorious in both. The Bloodhounds would simply not quit, but the Bulldogs just a few points better again. Eight-point win last year, six-point win this year. And Brooklyn is off to the NCAA tournament, undefeated against CUNY opponents. They go in having won 15 straight and 19 and 7 overall. We're going to get some post game reaction momentarily as the Bulldogs celebrate with certainly a different group after going 22 and 4 last year. They sweep through CUNY opposition for the third straight season. They have not lost to a CUNY team since the 2019 CUNY final to Hunter. It did not come easy after a, a cold shooting start. But yet their leaders, Gianna Gotti, Erica James, and all the veterans were able to find a way to make the key plays. Undoubtedly, the tournament MVP is going to be Gianna Gani, 26 points, flirted with a triple-double. Eight rebounds, six assists, six steals. She is with Scott Green. This season, but she'll have at least one more game in college in the NCAA tournament and one of the top all time games, CUNY championship games that this conference has experienced with the numbers that she put up, even playing with four fouls for nearly the entire fourth quarter. And Erica James with the 15 points and how Brooklyn was able to deal with John Jay's size in the rebounding action. Alex Lang, this doesn't get old for him. He captures another championship. He is now with Scott Green. Coach, after winning this last year, you lose some great players. You get through some injuries this year for the, for the season, and you still put together a program to win it again. What did it take to do that? Uh, well, you know, I give all the credit to the players on our team. They came to work every day. Uh, you know, it's, it's tough when you're undefeated, you're in first place, you're the defending champs, everybody's gunning for you, everybody gives you their best effort. Um, you know, we, we, we had, before the season even started, one of our best players, Destiny, Torrey CL, who's out for the year. You know, we've had our adversity this year, but we've hung through, we've, we've, we've you know, come a long way, but it's, it's great stuff. It's just, you know, look, got off to a rough start. Gianna Gotti was able to get you guys rolling. Talk about what she does for this team. Yeah, I mean, you know, we, we missed so many open threes early, and she started to get the hot hand. She knew she was hot. She wanted the ball. Uh, I mean, she's such a dynamic player. She can do a little bit of everything. The 
the mid-range, the three-point shoot in transition. Just so physically strong, too. When she gets a hand on the ball, just takes it from people. I mean, she's tremendous. And I believe this is your assistant coach right here. Oh, yeah. Uh, he Russell, more than me, though. Russell, what does this team need to do to prepare for the NCAA tournament? I don't know. <laughs> a perfect answer from an assistant. You can't be wrong. Thanks, Coach. Best of luck Thanks to you so in the NCAA much. tournament. Ralph, back to you. Uh, you could sense Alex Lang, uh, the relief perhaps in his voice and, and on his face to get past John Jay for a second consecutive year to close out the Bloodhounds and the championship experience as well that perhaps his team has earned over this time, certainly coming to the forefront and rising to the top during key stretches to defeat John Jay. Brooklyn going back to the NCAA tournament, their fifth CUNY championship, all a four of which have come under Alex Lang. 64-58 the final, and we'll hold it here as the, the trophy is being, is waiting to be presented to Brooklyn. Meanwhile, as John Jay gets their runner-up medals and their trophy, the Bloodhounds finish 18-9. And well, they'll await a potential bid to the Division Three North ECAC tournament, which is like the NIT in Division Three. So they could have another game or two. But if this is it for Katie Healy, she led the Bloodhounds with 16 points and 11 rebounds, her 16th double-double of the season, and her 62nd double-double of her career. And if that is all for Healy, she'll finish second all time in scoring and rebounding. Cheyenne Kelly, 14 points, four of eight from three to provide John Jay a great lift off the bench. Cameron Hammond with 10 and six. Bobby Green, nine of her 11 points coming in the first half, eight rebounds, five steals, also playing through foul trouble. But for Brooklyn, this is their third CUNY championship with the season lost in 2021 sandwiched in there. Fourth title in the last five years. And Brooklyn has started to change the conversation where they can start to have a great comparison with the Baruch dynasty that took place in the previous decade. This decade has certainly belonged to Brooklyn and then some. They'll go into next year unbeaten against CUNY opponents since 2019. There's the trophy. Gianna Gotti, indeed, is named the tournament MVP. Congratulations to the Bulldogs. 64-58 the final. For our entire crew, our director, Ben Talbot, my partner, Scott Green. My name is Ralph Gnorchik saying so long. Until about an hour from now, we'll call it 8.30 Eastern time. Lehman against Baruch in a rematch of last year's title that went to Baruch in overtime. That's coming up at 8.30 here on Facebook Live. Again, congratulations to the Brooklyn Bulldogs, CUNY champions for the second straight year, fourth in the last five. Your winners on Facebook Live. We'll talk to you soon. Athletic Conference Championships are presented by Health First. Health Insurance for New Yorkers, the official wellness sponsor of CUNY Athletics. The Hospital for Special Surgery, number one in the U.S. for orthopedics, is proud to be the official hospital of the CUNY Athletic Conference. CUNY University Student Senate, providing our students the platform to shape the City University of New York. And Hometown Ticketing, the official ticketing provider of the CUNY Athletic Conference.